Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp and today we are going to cover check if number is a sum of powers of 3. So given here is an integer value and we have to return true if it is possible to represent the given number as a sum of distinct powers of 3 otherwise return false. So consider the first example that is n is equal to 12 it can be represented as 3 power 1 plus 3 square. Same way 91 can be represented as 3 power 0, 3 power 2 and 3 power 4. So we are going to return true. And 21 cannot be represented as power of 3. So we are returning false. So how are we going to approach this? So if a number can be represented to the power of 3, then it also can be divided by 3. That is any number that is giving reminder 0 can be represented by the powers of 3. But there are special cases that numbers can be represented as 3 power 0. In that case, n minus 1 can be divided by 3. Or otherwise, n modulo 3 gives us reminder 1. So any number whose modulo with 3 can give us 0 or 1 can be represented in the powers of 3. Otherwise, if it gives reminder of 2, then it cannot be represented in the power of 3. By using this technique, we are going to divide the number every time by 3 and if we get the reminder 2, then we are going to return false. Otherwise, we are going to return to true until the number becomes 0. So let's see how are we going to code it. So we want to loop the number until the number becomes 0. So every time we are going to check, if the number gives the reminder by dividing by 3 is equal to 2, then the number cannot be represented in the form of powers of 3. So return false. If not, divide the number by 3 and iterate until it becomes 0. So finally, if the loop completes without finding a reminder 2, then that case return true. Let's run. Yes, let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. And it runs faster than any solution submitted. So thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe.